Hello guys and welcome back to the Camera 64 podcast. I am your host Alfonso Chavez and as always we are coming to you from sunny San Antonio, Texas. Uh, Today on the show as part of our COVID coverage, (laughs) that sounds funny doesn't it? COVID coverage. Uh, I went, me and my wife decided to take a drive out to uh, Canyon Lake uh, just because we didn't have nothing else to do and we thought it would be a great little getaway. So we took a drive up to the uh, Canyon Lake Dam and while we were out there, I just snapped off a couple of shots. Nothing fancy, not very many to be honest, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and do a nice little edit on them and see what we can get them to look like. If I can get this figured out. Oh, I always forget. I always get this wrong. See, what happens is my computer set up to where it's got an SSD drive for for the operating system. And I have a second SSD drive, which is where everything is saved at. And I always get this mixed up. Never fails. So 411. Here we go. Canyon Lake. And since I got the card plugged in, it comes straight up to that also. But you you can import that way off of your card too. I always suggest uh, creating a folder on your computer first and then importing it from there. That's how I always do it. It's not to say that it's the right way or the wrong way, but that's how I do it. So we're going to go ahead and bring these pictures in here. We're going to go ahead and let it uh, run here a little bit. You can see my progress bar up here at the top going on here. So we'll go ahead and let that go. So uh, other than that, guys, how's everybody been? I, I mean, I've been here at home trying to do projects. I have been doing a lot of investigating, a lot of YouTube stuff, trying to figure stuff out. I've been working on my website. Um, I've also taken the time to go ahead and create uh some new headliners for my YouTube channel, which looks pretty cool. If you have, haven't had a chance to go check that out, check it out. Uh, and there's has also been some changes to my website as well. I've been messing around with that too. So uh, this is all ready to go. So we'll look at that first picture. And the funny thing is, is that I actually had this on tungsten. Uh, and so this picture was taken with the wrong color, but this is how it should look. That's the right color, but it actually looks kind of cool as the as a blue scene right here. And this was shot in the tungsten. I had to, my white balance set to tungsten. So let's go ahead and look th- look and see what we can do with this. And I actually could color correct this. This sign right here is white. So if you ever have any kind of white in the scene, which is uh, the best way that I've found to uh, color balance pictures, you just have to grab your little clicker here and just click on this making sure that it's white and it'll give you that but we're gonna go ahead and just leave that alone and I'm gonna edit it just like that how it was I think that looks kinda cool so some of the basic things is I always pull shadows always do that I always check my highlights which if you look up here in the upper right hand corner we're actually doing really good on highlights I'm really happy with it but we still wanna kinda bring it down so I'm gonna go ahead and put a graduated filter on that and we're going to bring this uh, highlighted area down just a little bit more. I like that. Not too bad. And then we're going to go ahead and, and uh, come down to uh, clarity just a little bit. These were shot at F8, so a lot of this should be should be in focus which it is oh and just a little bit a little note on the camera too i forgot to mention that uh i'm actually shooting with a canon 70d and i have my kit lens which is the 18 to 135 you have the option of getting the uh, 18 to 55 millimeter or you could upgrade to the 18 to 135 as uh kit lenses which is what i have and uh, it just gives you a little bit more reach it's not too bad the f-stop uh swing is about the same which is uh, four, I believe it's 4.5 to 5.6. So it's not the absolute greatest uh, lens, but I do kind of like the way this looks. Looks to be handling it pretty nice. I like that. We'll go ahead and 
bring up my vibrance a little bit here. And usually I like to do around 24. That's where I like to go. And I always bring my saturation saturation up just a tad as well. Uh, so clarity, we bring it up a little bit. Uh, I don't think I have. Yeah, I think that looks okay. We'll go ahead and bring uh, black, bring up our black point uh, by 10 here. And I kind of, I kind of like the way that looks. <laughs> It's actually got a little dark scene going here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, I, I think a split tone would actually work pretty nicely on this picture. So I'm gonna, I'm since we have a nice little blue tone here in the in the shadow area, I'm gonna put a little bit of warm tone up in these brighter areas and see what that looks like. So let's do that. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. I like the contrast uh, of the orange to the blue and we can go ahead and move this around if we want to. Uh, it's a little bit too much. Yeah, I kind of like that. I want to get it to where the orange, there's enough orange in there where you could see the difference, but not too much. We don't want the water to look orange. We just want to give it just a tad which I think right there looks really good I like that we can turn that effect off so that's what it looks like before and that's what it looks like after I really like that it makes the bricks pop out too look at that I have to admit I kind of like it just like that that looks really good and you know what I think I'm gonna ha go ahead and add a little grunge on there too Let's see. Um, so um, there's a couple of ways you could do that. Uh, you could do the effects panel, which is what I was going to do by adding some grain. Uh, but I, that's not kind of like the look, the exact look I'm looking for. So I, what I want to do is I'm going to go back up to the basics tab and come down here to texture. So we'll add some texture in. I think that would look really nice and crunchy. Just to add to the vibe here. Let's see. I think we can still add some more crunchy. Uh, let's see. Let's bring this down just a little bit. So you know what I'm going to do? I decide, I'm going to go ahead and tag team this. I'm going to go ahead and do 50 on the... Uh, texture and then i am going to go ahead and see what this looks like with the with the grain in there let's see what it looks like okay that looks good and we're going to increase the size of it a little bit uh, let's, let's do 50 and we're going to increase the roughness a little bit Let's do 65. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and adjust that sky just a tad. So the way you do is you just click on this little tab right here. And I'm going to bring my highlights down in that area. There we go for a nice grimacing look. I like that. I really like that a lot. I like it a lot. There we go. That looks pretty good, guys. I like that. There's a nice before and after. And the funny thing is is that I was not this is not what I had in mind when I started, but it, we still ended up with a pretty nice picture. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll skip over that one. Let's pick another one too shoot uh, uh, this is a nice one I think this one would work let's let's do an edit on this and this is just off the path if you look over here to this right hand side this is where the river is coming out it's feeding through that generator and making the electricity over here and uh, also we got when I shoot these guys is I always shoot in raw 
Um, you can shoot in raw full, but this is actually raw. It's a medium raw on my Canon uh, 70D. And so it gives me the benefits of raw, but just in a smaller package. So this is what I'm using here on this. Well, actually all these pictures. So let's go ahead and do and start an edit on here. And uh, just to give you a little insight, as you can tell by looking at my histogram, I've got a lot of headroom over here. Uh, but just keep in mind that this is the the brightest part and of course we got the train as always guys so just keep in mind we got the train passing back there but uh we're gonna start with our uh, shadows first let's bring these shadows up oops wrong way <laughs> bring these shadows up a little bit there we go let's try 60 i like the way that looks and we're gonna bring our highlights down. We're gonna try and keep the same mood as uh, we have in the first picture, kind of like a dark grimacing shot. So the great thing when you're editing pictures like this, when it's a set, and this can be anything, it doesn't necessarily have to be like for in this case, a Canyon Lake shot, but it can be a church, it can be a hall. Uh, it can be at your son or daughter's baseball game. They're all being shot in the same type of light, um, but the but the subject might be changing, but the lighting situation may not be changing. But the point, what I'm trying to get across is that you can kind of set a baseline uh, to where you have all your pictures following the kind of same um, direction. So a lot of these settings that I used on the first one, I can incorporate it here into this uh, this picture as well so I what I do is I'll just give it a quick match real fast here and you can you can make this quicker by making a preset if you like or you could save it to the to the memory too and uh, just uh, apply it you can copy and paste the settings if you like too. okay I like the way that's looking here and let's go ahead and uh, stick with uh, adding the grain to So we kind of all go in the same same direction. Bring my size up to about 50. And bring my roughness up to about 65, I think is what we used on the last one. Right there. And then we can look here and see how this look is looking. And it's still, uh, it, I mean, the scene was just a tad bit brighter so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the overall exposure up but it wasn't it's not really that off from where it was because if you were out there if you were outside a day you would have known that we had a nice little overcast which is always great for taking pictures by the way uh, and what I want to do is, is I'm actually, instead of using exposure, now see here's the difference between using exposure and using a graduated filter. When you use a graduated filter, see, um, you got to split right down the middle here. You can see it. And this is your bright side and this is your dark side. So if I, if I go with an overall exposure pull, we're going to bring these highlights up over here on this side. We don't want that. We only want to work on this. I only want to bring this area out a little bit so then that's when I would grab the graduated filter and just pull that out just like that we don't want to go too far over and as a matter of fact I'm gonna stop right at that line that I just mentioned right there in the middle okay now I'm gonna pull just my shadows on this side and, and it's not gonna be a huge difference just a light let's do let's do 35 I think might work yeah okay and then we can bring my exposure up just a tad and again we're only working on this side oops too much I think it's too much let's keep this at around 25 I think that'll work yeah I like the way that looks let's do a quick comparison perfect yeah I like the way that looks I can live with that I'm going to give it just a tad more exposure. I still think just a little bit. Just like that. And I am going to bring my highlights down some more. Uh, 
I think that looks okay. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I can live with that. I will check my black point though, just out of curiosity. And the way you do that is you click, you while you click on this uh, black tab right here, you want to hit Alt, and you can see all the dark. So yeah, we do want to bring this up a little bit because it is a little too dark in some areas. So we're gonna pull that up just a tad. I think I'm gonna keep that at 50 and, and I want you to notice something is that we do have some blowout in the green right here see how there's the green right there so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the green here in the colors tab and we're gonna bring that green the luminance of the green up a little bit let's try 40 let's try 50 and see what that looks like and we'll go back and look at it so we're going to do black alt uh, uh that's about right i like that see this is all about just playing around on here nothing fancy i like the way that looks now that looks pretty nice actually the adding of the luminance that looks perfect I think that's pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it like that. That's a great one. And also I like this picture too. Let's see. No, I think see I uh had this one right here and I'm cutting off the bottom of this trunk here. I don't like it, so we'll go with this one. This is a great shot right here. And actually straight out of the camera it actually looks pretty pretty nice, but we can bring up some exposure just a tad here. We'll bring up some of the shadow area for this area right in here. Just like that. And then of course we're gonna add texture like we did to our other shot. We'll do 50 on the texture. And clarity, we're gonna do a little bit of clarity. Now normally guys, uh, clarity I don't use too much on people, but for landscape photos, for me me personally, I think that uh, it, it does a pretty good job. I think it's too much, it's a little too crispy. So we'll definitely come back off of this a little bit. Let's do 10. Okay, I, I like that. I can live with that. That'll work. Bring our vibrance up. Bring our saturation up. And I usually stick to two. I don't like to do anything more than two. Unless for some reason I just absolutely had the color turned down in the camera. But uh, I never mess with the saturation in camera. So uh, in general it's always going to be correct. But I like the way that looks. We'll go down to my effects. We're going to definitely add in our grain so we can keep our set going here pretty nicely. And I like the way that looks. See, and, and the picture doesn't have to be perfect, guys. See, if you're looking at this on a pixel level, you're probably saying, man, it looks like crap. But look at that. The overall picture is actually pretty nice. I like that. I do like that. Let's try a vignette. Nah, nah, I don't like it. Let's try some presets we have. See, and some of these presets are actually uh, presets that I created for other sessions or uh, other events. But just for fun, sometimes I like to just go through these and look at these see what they give me huh not bad and this was actually part of a little pack i got little presets that you can pick up and buy 
But no, I actually think I like mine. One thing I am going to do, and I might do this on all the pictures, is I'm going to go ahead and give it a film look. And uh, if you've never done that before, uh, I usually just go to my tones here. And I come down to here and I just p pull this up. Oops, wrong way. I don't want to do that. Ah, I want to reset that. We're going to control Z on that. And I want to grab this point here and just pull this up. Gives it a nice filmic look. not too much you don't want to do it too much just enough to where you get that nice little glisten there we go on the picture which i like that right there i think that'll work and that's it that's the only pictures that we have um oh where i'm at yeah i guess we, i could do that too but let me go jump back real fast let's jump back and i do want to get that film look on these two and again you're just going to pull this up just enough doesn't have to be much just enough and it gives it a nice little glistening look to it we're gonna do the same here just like so perfect i like that let's go back to that sign and the reason I'm going to go ahead and include the sign in this group is so that way you can know where I was at, which was the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority, which is the uh, the hydraulic hy hydroelectric plant, which is the one the picture from the from the very first uh, picture that we showed here. And let's bring our highlights down. So everything you can do on the sliders, guys, you can actually do on the curves here, which is kind of cool. It actually, some people like to work only in this section here, which you can. It's up to you. Once you understand it, you, uh, I sometimes still get this mixed up. Uh, this by creating a quick little s curve you always get a nice little look here too i can still bring my uh, highlights down i think the highlights that looks about right and we can bring this up just a tad there we go i like that okay and i think to finish the effect here i think we need to add just a tad more more of contrast uh, not much because i did a good job in the curves there you go i like that so that's it that's my set guys we're going to go ahead and export these i'm just going to select them which is one and i'm going to hit control eight and then I'm going to hit control on number 19 and number 21. Then I'm going to hit control, shift, alt, and E. Now you can get all fancy with this, guys. If you're going to post these to different places, I've heard that PNG files uh work the best in instagram and even on facebook because something to do with the compression the way that those uh, programs compress our pictures they can make pictures look bad but i don't know it's been my experience if you upload them in full resolution which is what i do uh, normally uh, I, they tend to not get as crunchy for whatever reason and these are not fully i mean these are not huge files it's uh, 2.3 megabytes as you can see here uh, so they're not super huge So we'll go ahead and take a look at them and I, I really like the way this looks to be honest with you. I love that I love that one. That looks nice That as well looks really nice I would love to have somebody come out with me and actually stand in here or or even walk all the way across and this is not very deep This water right here is only a 
maybe a foot and a half, two feet at the most. Uh, so you, somebody could actually walk across and sit right here. I think that would be amazing if anybody out there, guys, once this is all over with, would like to take the drive with me to Canyon Lake uh, and be my model. I'd be more than happy to uh, hear from you guys. If you want to, you can drop me a note uh, and I can make sure and put you on the list. But I like that. So we'll show that this is where we were at. So I like that, guys. Those are our four pictures. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and post these up. And uh, you guys let me know what you think about them. Again, I didn't spend a whole lot of time taking them. I didn't spend a whole lot of time editing editing them either, as you can tell. Uh, I just went ahead and chose a style, an older, old grimacing style look. I, You know, the first picture was telling me, uh, looking at it, it was a mistake in, in camera, but I decided to just go with it, and it makes for a really nice uh late afternoon shot even though it was shot right in the middle of the day and then uh, I just went ahead and kept the flow across all the pictures uh, by adding grain and adding some uh, texture into the picture to give it a film look uh, and I think I ended up with a pretty good set so well guys I hope you have enjoyed this uh, edit today it wasn't much but uh, I just thought that I'm going to start sharing my edits from now on so here you go guys I hope you have enjoyed it uh, we did our editing here in Lightroom, and we used a Canon 70D with a kit lens, 18 to 135. So these pictures right here, guys, anybody out there can shoot these pictures. Anybody can edit these pictures and have them look just as nice. So I think we're going to wrap it up, guys. So you have been watching the Camera 64 podcast. I am your host, Alfonso Chavez. And if you really like what you're seeing or you just like the company, guys, just editing alongside with somebody is always a lot of fun. You can learn simply by watching. And uh, that's what my channel is all about. I just want you to you guys to feel comfortable, be able to watch my videos. You can just hear my thoughts and see what I'm doing. I think you can learn that way, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And also, if you'd like, you can always shoot us a message. Um, we're here on our website. It's camera64.com. And uh, it, once you get onto my website, if you scroll all the way down, you can also join me on Facebook, where it's Alfonso C. Chavez the uh, Third at Facebook. So you take care, guys. Till next time. Bye bye. Have fun. Shoot some pictures. <laughs>